What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at it again with another video. So, I just finished watching Full Gear. Um, and for the matches that I was able to check, I was able to check most of the matches out. Um, honestly, it was a good show. It, it, in my opinion, it was definitely some matches that should not have been on there. Uh, to shorten it up, made it a little bit more concise. But for the most part, I enjoyed the show. But I'm here really just to talk about two things one the elite coming out to wayward song a uh, wayward son oh man if you if you're a big supernatural fan like your boy Rob ross is you don't understand you know the type of joy that brought me hearing the elite come out there to wayward son was pretty damn cool and then hearing the uh, fuck you, uh, CM Punk chants. Uh, that was wild. I never thought I would ever hear fuck you, CM Punk chants. Uh, that that's that was pretty interesting. So I that, I definitely wanted to talk about that. And that match, that trios match, was pretty damn good. But I, I really just want to focus in on one thing and one thing only, bro. MJF becoming the new AEW World Champion. And I am glad they made the right decision. This match had an interesting dynamic. Uh, MJF was pretty much a babyface in this entire match for the most part. And John Moxley was mostly a heel. He was flipping out the crowd. The, anytime John Moxley had any type of offense going on, they were booing him to oblivion. It was a very interesting dynamic. Anything that MJF did, it was more so got cheered. The only thing I was kind of like maybe disappointed in a little disappointed in is the fact that pretty much John Moxley he operated as a heel, but he dominated this match. Like MJF really didn't look like uh, I guess as competitive as I was hoping he would be. He he kind of looked, in my opinion, and maybe I'm reading too much into it. He looked a little bit weak. For someone that's supposed to be going for the championship, supposed to be putting the championship, uh, uh, we're putting the company on his back. He, he, he didn't look as strong as I wanted him to do offensively. There were some cool spots. I love the pile driver through the table. That was a beautiful spot. Looked brutal as hell. Um, but ultimately, it was really just MJF trying to pretty much survive. And, of course, you had the typical referee bump spot. You, you know, you always have those. Um, and MJF ends up pulling out the ring. He ends up pulling out his dynamite ring. That's when William Regal comes out there. He's like, put it away. Throw it away. You don't need that. Or whatever. So then, another referee comes out there. He ends up getting knocked down or whatnot. And at this point, MJF is uh, locked in a submission hole. He's tapping. Which is one of which is another thing where it's like I those type of roles when the ref is not looking and then the heel starts tapping, I, I think those work better than I guess I mean MJS is kind of a heel or maybe a face. He's more of a tweener, but him tapping, it just once again it gave me like he's not on like he's weaker than John Marsh. Like he's not there competitively. That's how it just looked visually like he's weaker than john like he he can't really get the job done per se once again it makes sense if you're a heel to do that but in this match he was clearly like a baby face so i didn't like the fact that he was tapping even though the ref didn't see it but probably the most interesting thing about the whole situation and it's funny because i think while i was tweeting someone had said i could see william regal being the one to double cross John Moxley like they tweeted it while the match was happening and lo and behold William Regal gives MJF the brass knucks he's still by ringside and you're like wait what he gives him the brass knucks and William Regal uh, and MJF clocks um John Moxley with the brass knucks and he gets the one two three pin victory that that was to me I was just, I was really surprised by that. I, I was thoroughly surprised with that turn of events. I, I guess you could say the seeds have been planted. The, the only thing that kind of confuses me is the whole firm situation. I think they, I, uh, that 
that kind of didn't go nowhere a little bit. So I don't know. But the fact that William Regal was the one to help him win the championship was very interesting. So I, I will probably be checking out AEW this Wednesday to see what John Moxley has to say about that. What's gonna happen with the back, uh, Black Combat, uh, Blackpool Combat Club? What's gonna happen there? How they're gonna feel about William Regal doing that? It's gonna be very interesting. It's gonna be very interesting. But the right person won. Did I enjoy the match? The match was okay. I, I wish it could have been a little better. I think the only thing I was hoping for is just MJF getting more, uh, I guess you could say, offense in. That's the only thing I would have preferred him to get a little bit more offense in so he didn't look as weak as he did in the match. But the right person won. Crowd was into it. I was into it. I'm glad that he did get the championship. It would have been cool if they had confetti and stuff for him, but... I guess they didn't, you know, I guess they didn't have it for him or whatnot. And I don't know. I would have, you know, that's a big celebration or celebratory moment. Or at least it should be because it's, it's, he's the future of the company, supposedly. So it'll be interesting to see where they take things going forward, man. Um, so I, I definitely want to talk about that. Also, Samoa Joe. <laughs> Samoa Joe, two belts. He got two belts now. He pinned uh, uh, Hobbs. Samoa Joe is the TNT champion and still the ROH, I believe, television champion. He, uh, he has two belts now, and uh, I think that is awesome. So they're probably going to set up Samoa Joe Wardlow going forward. But I'm glad Samoa Joe is finally getting some more and more notoriety, uh, you know, just on 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 the Dynamite side of thing, the AEW side of thing. I know he's getting notoriety from ROH, but just so he can be seen more on television because Joe deserves to be seen more on television. Uh, Jamie Hayter becoming the new uh, interim AEW World Women's uh, Champion. That was cool to see. You know what I'm saying? People people enjoyed that women's match and people were behind Jamie Hayter. You know what I'm saying? So that was also a cool thing to see. There were some good moments in the show. There were some down moments in the show. Soraya uh, having her first match back or whatnot was nice to see. Uh, the tag team championships, I, I felt like that match could have been a little bit better. Um, it, it, I, I don't know if it was crowd fatigue, possibly. A uh, crowd didn't really get into it till towards the end, but that was still entertaining. And um, Jungle Boy and uh, um, and Luchasaurus having that nice, crazy. I, I was able to look, go back and check out that crazy steel cage match. That shit was fucking great way to start off the show. But overall, the stuff that I was able to see, matches I was able to see was pretty goddamn good for me personally uh you know what i'm saying i uh, this is not a, my traditional thoughts and opinions video it's kind of more of a short form version of it but i, I would give this show a, a solid it was a solid seven and a half so seven and a half to eight um the only downside is some of these matches should not have been on this show could have been on dynamite that's the only thing they, they could have took out maybe three matches that probably would have made the show that much better for me personally it was a long show bro but hey man at the end of the day the right person won mjf is your new aew world champion so comment down below let me know did you guys see that swerve coming did you guys think william regal was going to be the person to help out mjf also how did you feel about the mjf in uh in uh i can't even think of his name right now i just said his name a few times john moxley how did you guys feel about their match as a whole um and are you guys looking forward to aew uh aew dynamite this wednesday to see what mjf has to say uh let me know down below but i appreciate all the love and support roll to 100k we're almost there man see y'all next time peace